Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I would like to talk about hip revision. When we talk about hip revision, what comes into your mind? This is a procedure which we perform in order to repair the artificial hip joint. We perform hip revision when there is loosening of the implants, damage, dislocation, infection. The typical lifespan of hip joint prosthesis is usually between 10 to 20 years. Hip revision is not a common procedure which we perform, but in most cases it might be required. But before we perform this procedure, we also follow our usual routine whereby we have to take the physical examination of this patient, we have to check the lab test of this patient, we have to check the urinary test, the EKG they had, we have to also have to check the CBC, and uh, also the final which is the x-ray of which is most commonly required before the surgery because from this x-ray the orthopedic surgeon will be able to know where the problem is and how to fix it so in today's surgical rotation we had a woman in her 70s she already had bipolar atroplasty which is also known as hemiatroplasty you can check out my video on hemiatroplasty procedure when the surgeons started performing the surgery they had to see what was wrong with this patient looking from the x-ray they discovered that the head of the prosthesis entered into the fossa. In this case, they had to change it from hemiatroplasty to total atroplasty. The patient already had a history of osteoporosis. Then this brings in the cement which we had to use. The cement I'm talking about is not the normal cement which we use in house building. We have the cement which we use in hip replacement procedure as we perform today from bipolar to total atroplasty. In this case, we require the cement and this cement contains polymethyl metacrylate, which helps the adherence of the processes to the bone and fixing of this implant. After the removal of the previous implant which the woman had, we had to put in a new one and in this case, we had to perform the total atroplasty through a lateral procedure. The patient already had osteoporosis, so we had to use the cement because of this, this is one of the indications of why the cement should be used on some of these patients to ensure the adherence of the new prosthesis. We used two drainage tubes. One was in the fossa and the other one was between the muscle and the fascia. The complications include blood clotting, infection, injury to the nerves. The surgery lasted for an hour. In some cases, when the surgery can be prolonged to maybe two hours or three hours or more, is in the case whereby the patient's femoral bone gets to fracture. In this case, we have to use the metal screws and plate that is the osteosynthesis as I talked about in my previous video. We can use this procedure to fix this patient. After the surgery, the patient will be followed up on what to do, giving advice and guidelines on what to do and what not to do for the main time. This was how we performed today's procedure on hip revision. Thank you so much for your time watching this video. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and see you next.